Hi there, this is Max with Alpre.io. In this short video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to connect to Nexmo SMS API, and this time from API Express. Now, yesterday I published a video how to connect to Nexmo SMS API from server code, and then we built an Ionic app that uses uh, the backend or the server code. So, um, in this video, um, again, we're going to use API Express, so you can see a difference. But um, you can also build exactly the same app, Ionic app or maybe jQuery mobile app, because um, the actual backend is going to be identical. All right, so let's get started. Now, if you don't have a Nexmo account, you can sign up for free. Again, it's free to get started, and you can see a link right here. Now, the uh, API, the Nexmo SMS API, is right here. So this is the API that we are going to use. Now first, let's go to uh, API Express and we'll create a, a new project, an API Express project. Now, an API Express project holds one or more APIs that uh, connect to external data sources. So in our case, it will be a REST API. Uh, next, more API, and click Create. All right, so we created uh, a project, a brand new project. Now, before we actually dive into creating the API, I'm going to switch to service keys. And then what this allows me to do, this allows me to set some default values. Now, the default values are uh, API key, and then it's the API secret, and then the from number. Now, so these values um, don't change, right, or, or change very rarely. Um, so we don't need to keep them in the service. So the notion of service keys allows you to kind of keep these values that very rarely change, if at all, separately. Now, let's set these values. So the API key, so I go into my account, and this is the API key, so I'm going to copy it. Now, this is the API secret. Now, the from number is, if I go to numbers, All right, and you can give description, but just to save time. All right, so again, API, API, API key, API secret, and from. And again, these values will be, uh, I can reference when I'm building my API. So let's go back to API, and let's click new service, and let's call this message. Now I'm gonna to switch to custom service, and this will load a visual service editor. All right, it looks like this. Um, so this is the service flow, and uh, this is the input, or um, and this is the output of the service. And you can see that the API Express has different components from which you can build um, pretty sophisticated or advanced service logic by you know, building a flow. For example, you can have a REST component, a SQL component, a SOAP component. Now, in our case, we're going to use a REST component, so uh, let's drag and drop a REST component. Also, let's give the service a name, so we can call this SMS, and we can make it to be a post. Now, what we need to provide, or the app would need to provide, uh, two values. Uh, first is the two, that's the number, and then the text. And so, uh, that's the input into the service, into the API Express service that we are building. Now let's click REST, and first we need to set the URL. So we go back to Docs, copy this. Set the URL. Now it has to be a post, so we're going to change it to post. And now I need to set the parameters. So there is one is API secret. I'm sorry, API key first. And then we can map it to the key that I just created. All right. The, again, and that's how the default value will be mapped. Next one is API secret. Let's map to secret. Then it's from. And then there are two more parameters which the, will be entered from the app, and that's two. Right? And you can see that's a params.query, so it's a different mapping. And then from, from. Oh, I'm sorry, text, text. I was giving me the error message. Wasn't paying attention, so text is right here. Right, so these are all the default, the first three. 
and then these are the input from the uh, from the actual app when we're running the service. Now this one we're going to change to uh, the content type to URL encoded like this. Um, and that's it. Now what you want to do next is you want to uh, you want to test the service and also set the response. So there is input into the service and then there is also output for every service or a component. And the same applies to all the other components. So we're going to first click generate and the generate really allows us to do two things. It allows us to uh, test the service, this particular REST API, and also generate the response. So let's enter the um, phone number 9953 and then API Express. Click run. All right? And then we're going to switch to um, Gmail. Again, this is using uh, Google Voice. And you can see the message uh, that I just received. So this means that the, uh, the, the REST component works. So let's go back. And once you're sort of satisfied with this, we're going to click Import Response. And I'm going to use this um, as the uh, output of this component, which will also automatically becomes the output of the, the service. And I mean, you can make changes here if you would like, but for now, uh, this is fine. Um, again, uh, if you want just the response body, for example, uh, you can see there's some header um, information here, but if you want just a response, then we can set it to body body, right? Uh, something like this. Uh, but that's it. So as you can see, this is the input, this is the output, and here, our logic. So in this particular case, we're invoking one REST API, but again, nothing stopping you from maybe you know, invoking a SQL component, a custom SQL query if you would like. And that's also an option, but we're not going to do this right now. But now we can test this API, and uh, enter the phone number. And uh, click test, right? No, actually, I made a mistake again with the phone number. And it's not, it's 53. And let's click test. Um, it actually worked. They sent the message to someone. Um, but um, if I go back to, to Gmail here, you can see, uh, so this message was, was received, all right? Um, so, and that's basically it. So what we, again, what we did is that we created um, an API Express service which uh, connects to an external REST API, and in this case, it is Nexmo, all right? Now, once you have a service, once you have the service, um, and we tested the service, you know, when you're building an app, and whether it's an Ionic app or a jQuery mobile app, you can import the, this service, and then use it in your app. And as I promised, I'll add a link to the video which I published yesterday, which will show you actually how to build the Ionic app. Um, but you can substitute the API Express backend, um, and it will work exactly the same way. So hopefully uh, this was useful, and um, thank you for watching.